Welcome back to the discussion on the region of genetic system in the framework of the RNA world hypothesis. My name is still Alex Kalchenko. The simplest way of peptide encoding on the RNA template involves direct sequential binding of activated amino acids on this template. The direct RNA template model was suggested by Yaros and his team based on the stereochemical hypothesis of genetic code emergence. According to the direct RNA template model, direct binding of activated amino acids to the RNA template was non-sequential. Amino acids could interact with both codon or anticodon sequences. The idea of directly coding RNA was also developed by Ma into the hypothesis of the emergence of the direct RNA template translation mechanism, taking into account the principle of replication parsimony. Under selection pressure due to the complexity of replication, there was a tendency towards economical use of genetic material. Therefore, in the early stages, complex but meaningless at that moment structures could not arise to gain functionality later. This direct RNA template hypothesis attempts to consistently explain the evolutionary events of the appearance of such intermediate links as tRNA, mRNA or RNA. A different view on the problem of the emergence of diversity in RNA molecules was proposed in 2001 by Spirin in the theory of recombining RNAs, which suggests that the primary translation apparatus arose before the appearance of the enzymatic replication apparatus and was based on several types of specialized RNAs. According to this hypothesis, the diversity of RNA molecules, including molecules with ribozyme activity, was achieved through recombination due to spontaneous non-enzymatic transesterification of abiogenically synthesized oligoribonucleotides. Due to this recombination of short RNA molecules, complementary binding to the polynucleotide matrix, the association of fragments and the primary reproduction of RNA molecules occurred. And with the advent of ribozymes with polymerase activity, the efficiency of replication should have increased significantly. The studies by Rodin at co-authors were also of great importance for today's understanding of the appearance of tRNA. A separate complex problem is the region of rRNA. Particularly worth highlighting is the so-called accretion model of ribosome evolution suggested by Petrov and co-authors. The model assumes that the emergence of ancestral RNA segments and their combination into the structures of large and small proto-RNA. The authors of the accretion model divide the evolution of the translation system into six phases. More details about them can be read in our paper. The hypothesis of the Farias et colleagues emphasizes the central role of tRNA molecules in the emergence and development of matrix processes. According to this hypothesis, tRNAs gave rise to the first genes and the peptidyl transferase center of the ribosome. Finally, another serious issue of the emergence of a genetic system within the framework of the RNA world hypothesis is the occurrence of amino acylation. In the early 90s, Jacques-Marie proposed the coding coenzyme handle hypothesis in which amino acids act as coenzymes for ribozymes. This theory is based on the fact that the many modern coenzymes have nucleotide-like fragments, which may indicate their possible origin from the RNA world. In riboorganisms, the nucleotide-like portions of coenzymes could be used as handles so that ribozymes could easily capture and manipulate them. 
An alternative to it was the hypothesis of self-aminoacylating ribozyme templates by Wong and his team. The premise for which was the discovery of self-acylating ribozymes with different amino acid specificities. By the way, Yaros and Shostak also influenced this hypothesis a lot. Thus, I want to emphasize once again that the RNA world hypothesis is not a single coherent theory, but rather a concept that contains sometimes complementary, sometimes mutually exclusive hypothesis, united by one idea, the existence of genetic systems based only on RNA molecules. However, despite the fact that the RNA world hypothesis is today the dominant in the scientific community concept for the region of genetic code and translation, it has many weaknesses, including those that are much better described by other theories alternative to the RNA world hypothesis. But we'll talk about this another time. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it and became more interested in the regions of the genetic system than ever before. If you have any queries, you can easily contact me.